Okay, the power linguist back at you. And because I've gotten a lot of interest in this ever since I mentioned this a while back, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, talk about this. And I want to preface this, though. Uh, some people are forgetting that you have to have a real name and a real photo to post comments because that's how it is uh, above board here. Got to have some standards. So unless I know you really well, <sighs> No, uh, no drive-by trolling here. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> all right. So talking about, uh, let's preface this a little bit also, the German volume method of language learning. Okay, actually, it's not just German. This is really Eastern Bloc, but uh, I learned this from some guys when I was doing a sports science uh, enhancement uh, study a long long time ago because Eastern Bloc countries were way ahead of everybody in the West because they it was just I don't want to get into all that but they're just using uh, sequential scientific methods that other people were not using and some of the things that they had done were, were just in um, sports that were they were in languages and that led me down a path of a uh, Lozanov which is interesting and accelerated learning which they've also uh, pursued anyway I could talk about those maybe other and other other videos but right now so I have to I have a lot of things here I gotta bring out this is one of the big things so here's what's gonna happen here I'm going to introduce you to this volume method of learning It's very different than it, <clears throat> anything else that you've seen or come across I'm gonna mention some things to you here alright so basically <clears throat> you're gonna use a whole lot of resources and you're going to have to do a, a lot of work. This isn't going to work for the hobby people, the people who do a little bit or do, uh, don't and don't follow through. So I'm going to show you different. Uh, okay, now every one of these. Now the the major uh, part of this is you want to have at least ten different books, <laughs> ten different sources. This is books right now, just books. Ten different books that cover the language. Now, I don't have, uh, I can do, I can show you in Thai, but it's be all in Thai, so it's not going to help you any. So, I, what I do have in, in that amount here with me is uh, Italian. So, this book is one. This would be a, one, of the, one of the books that you would use, okay? And I'll talk about this after I show you a bunch of these different books. This book is one that you would use. So, there's one. I, uh, I really, the, these uh, books by Collins and some of the others that I'm showing you. Now, notice I'm not using any of the tourist crap. These are textbook uh, authors, and these are people who actually put things out for university classes. These are supplementary for the university classes, but also you can use them as self-learning. Now, this is a point here. This is one of the reasons why you're going to have so many. Okay, this is, so this is number two for that. And uh, then here's another. This is a good series, generally in, all, in every language that they do. Uh, they do all the major world languages from this. Uh, from, from this, and they also actually have a. Uh, this is uh, uh, in the professional series, as they call it. But this actually has a grading on the back of, of what it says. It's you know, how high it is. It says this is this is in the. In, intermediate middle intermediate level for this anyway so this is number three okay now you've probably seen these These are these are uh, really not very expensive in the, in the US or Canada they are expensive as hell though when you get outside the US so you're importing this is Barron's Barron's makes a lot of guides for passing tests and that sort of thing this is another another important book uh, company to be using. So you don't see me using this crap, teach yourself crap, or you, or this uh, SC mill or any of that garbage, right? This is totally different because he's, this is um, this is a, and this is part one of the fundamental parts is to use these types of books. All right, I'm going to keep going here. So this is uh, number four that you'd use. Uh, here's the beginning one, McGraw Hill. McGraw Hill is also a textbook writer and their authors are top-notch so this is another book that you would put into this 
for I'm using Italian obviously as a demonstration here. So this is number five. Okay, back to the other one. Practice makes perfect. This is just if you, uh, they have concentration on different things, um, pronouns, prepositions, which are uh, not that difficult in this language. But there you go. And here is a book just on verb drills by Passport Books with MTC. <clears throat> they make also uh, things with the uh, audio. But this is another book, so we're up to we're up to uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this is number seven, <coughs> number seven that you'd be using. All right. Now, I showed you the easier version. Here's the other, the more complete version, and this is a lot more complete than than the easy method. Now, this is uh, up at advanced level now. Uh, this is a good, very good book. Now. Uh, you're going to you'd be using this ultimate Italian review and practice. Uh, they make also I know for for fact in French and uh, German. I don't, I don't know if I've seen the Spanish, but anyway, okay, that's another another book that's important to the, to, to the factor. Now this this is a great book. <laughs> this is Barons again about Italian now and. The, the, this sort of book, uh, do they do it in Spanish? I don't think, they have a French one. I know they have a French one, and it has a CD with the French one. Uh, this one doesn't have a CD with it. But the, this is uh, stupendous, wonderful stuff. And this is going to be part of, I'm going to talk about this in a minute. But that, that makes us up to uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, okay. Uh, I've had others, but <laughs> this is a good book. But this would be used. Yeah, I'll tell you why. This is a uh, in the '60s or the '50s and the '60s. They started doing this by learning from picture diagrams too. So you're seeing it visually and not just uh, working off of. Uh, you're not working off of translation specifically in this. Now, okay, so they have that, and you should have <clears throat> also cards like this, not just using the computer, okay? So that's it. Oh, by the way, I will show you, though, this is to talk about a teach yourself. This is a teach yourself Italian, which is worth a lot of money nowadays. This is from 1943. It's very different. <clears throat> Arguez talks about the <clears throat> earlier teach yourselves in the 60s, which are all right. But these ones way back because they use a strict grammar and translation method, and you have to translate a lot of, in this case, English to Italian, and, and Italian to English, which is a good exercise. This is the newer teach yourselves a crap, and this course by itself I would not use. Now, you can also you get into this uh, reading exercises on a hard copy thing instead of just being on the internet doing it that way. Now, all right. One other thing that I, that you should do is download Audacity. You need Audacity. You're going to use the volume method, the updated volume method. Okay. Now, so what's <clears throat> I'm going to go through some a little bit more specifics here on this. So each one of these books, <clears throat> you're going to go through it all the way through it. You're going to work on. You're going to do every exercise. You're going to do everything in the, in the book. All right. I do not. Write in the book. That's not. I don't like it. That's it. That that because there's a step to this. <laughs> Another step to this that you shouldn't be writing in this book. So you're going to be writing, right? It's important to write everything. Do every single exercise in this book. Do every single exercise. Read every single page. You go through this book. You do the same thing here. You say, and you also speak, you say everything, and you write down, and you do every single exercise. You don't skip pages. You don't skip anything. You don't, same thing with this. Every single, every single one of these, you go through every single page. You do every single thing it says to do. These are all, that's what makes this, this book so good. It's because it's just jammed, packed with things you have to do. Yeah, conversations, and then you have to work with it. That's the point 
this is one aspect that all the other methods that these people are talking about are not covering. They're not covering workbooks. You need workbooks. You're going to learn the language by actually working with the language, not just reading the language or, or, or being receptive to hearing it only. Okay, now, all right, so what I've done here is I've given you the ingredients <laughs> to uh, the recipe. Now, there's a, lot more, there's a lot more to it, and just like a recipe, the ingredients in which order they go in and how long they're put in and how long they're cooked for all matter. I'm not letting you have that. That's not happening here. You're not getting free uh, research that I did for a long time. So, like everybody else who's uh, in this, I'm going to offer it to those people who are interested and they can contact me and I will... Uh, we can work something out about finding out how you op use it. But what I've given you right here now is a factor that is very different than anybody else's ideas. You don't just use one book. You don't just use one type of book. You don't just uh, look at it and read it in your spare time. You go through these books. I will tell you this. You go through every single page. You do every single thing. You write out everything. Everything in every single one of these books you do. There's a reason why you're using so many different books. It's going to give, it's going to drive, it's going to drive you to new levels. It's going to bring you to a new level that you can't get with using one type of it doesn't happen this is this is this is the whole thing about the eastern bloc using this volume method here and this is i'm not telling you very i'm telling you the very beginning parts and the ingredients i'm not telling you uh, how the ingredients are mixed together how the ingredients are 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 used exactly so that stuff is uh you know not going out to just anybody and everybody not happening uh, you don't see any of those other guys doing anything. They don't even have this technique. They don't know it because they didn't. They weren't in the places to learn this. So anyway, so that is the introduction to the uh, volume Eastern Block. I'm calling it German volume, but it's the Eastern Block volume method, and it can really, really get results. And then Audacity. I haven't even talked about why Audacity is important. But so if you are interested, you're going to have to invest in yourself and invest in your uh, learning. And you can uh, contact me, and I'll uh, talk to you about it. But only with people with real names and real photos. I'm not gonna, um, anybody writing to me with fake names, I'm not going to answer anything. All right? So that is the uh, volume method everybody's waited to hear a little bit about. So, you know, get with it because <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's got uh, results written all through it. All right, so I'll talk to you, uh, of course, later.